sophomore in the class of 2014. we started one big journey together. Today, we're all here on the cusp of a new chapter in our lives. However, we did not make it here on our own. No man is an island, and I will take this moment to thank parents, families, teachers, principals, counselors, and most importantly, Google and Wikipedia. For supporting me and everyone in the graduating class so that we can all be here today to celebrate our success. As I look around at all the familiar faces, I see hopes, dreams, and goals just waiting to be unleashed onto the world. Now, four years ago, I was hiked and playing soccer in construction fields in the tiny country of Nepal, where I was born and raised. I could not have envisioned this day four years ago, and so today is a dream come true for me and my family. Yes! But if leaving everything behind for the sake of a better future has taught me anything, it is to never rest on my past accomplishments and to never settle for mediocrity. Even standing here, having accomplished what I never even imagined a few years ago, I don't quite feel content. Today doesn't feel like the realization of a dream, but rather the beginning of new ones. College, a great job, a great family, and later on, a retirement home in the south of France. <laughs> It'll be like that for all of us. Our dreams will keep on changing because that is the very nature of dreams. If it wasn't, the whole world would be overrun with astronauts and princesses. <laughs> because our dreams keep changing and evolving, we will almost never attain the complete satisfaction of achieving our dreams. We may never achieve our dreams because we should always be chasing them. And every day we don't achieve our dreams is one more day we have to spend bending ourselves in the hopes of getting there. To be here today, we've all put in a great deal of effort, burned the midnight oil, and slapped ourselves awake for math first period. We are here today four times the people we were four years ago, and that is the true magnitude of today. Our development as young men and women far surpasses the diploma we'll be getting, because today isn't about the diploma, but rather the celebration of everything that has happened along the way. Not one of us is going to kick back and say, well, I'm done with that, no more effort from me, because we realize this is only a stepping stone on a path of bigger and better things. The real failure in life from here on out is not getting an E on the paper or failing a test, but rather standing still and not having a dream to chase. We need to realize that we will never truly reach the end zone and that we won't really win in life because our dreams should and always will be a little out of reach. And since I have mentioned that I grew up in Nepal, home to the grandest mountain on earth, Mount Everest, I feel it is only appropriate to end with the saying common amongst the Sherpas, who are the people that lead the climbers up the mountain. The Sherpas take, tell the climbers, climb the mountain not so you can climb your flag, but so that you can embrace the challenge and live every single moment of it. So go out there, class of 2014, find your mountain, climb it, enjoy the challenge, behold the view, and then tell yourself, one mountain down, a thousand more to go. Thank you.